Gracias por estar aquí en este tu curso de inglés. Voy a leer lentamente, pero al mismo tiempo voy a conservar todas las variaciones que se escucharían si esta lectura se leyera a velocidad normal. Es muy importante para todos. Su objetivo es para que se familiaricen con la pronunciación y también la comprensión. Esta lectura tiene dos partes. Ahora la parte 1. No te preocupes por entender todo. Solamente vas a escuchar para entender el contexto. Lo mejor para conseguir excelentes resultados es que escuches esto de 3 a 7 veces al día hasta que puedas escuchar la lectura sin ver la transcripción y entenderla y escucharla perfectamente. Repite esta historia hasta que no necesites las letras, hasta que puedas escuchar las palabras y puedas entender todo lo que dice y aunque te tome una semana, hazlo, porque así es como tendrás el mejor resultado. Ahora hablemos de la parte 2. Esta lectura contiene preguntas interactivas. Después de cada oración hay preguntas. Para practicar tu habilidad de entender las preguntas y responderlas rápido. No te preocupes por la gramática. Solamente tienes que responder ágilmente. Puedes responder en voz alta. Siempre habrá una pausa para que tú puedas hablar y luego vas a escuchar la respuesta. El mejor resultado de esta práctica es que tú vas a poder responder a preguntas de forma automáticamente, intuitivamente y muy fácil, como lo haces en español, sin tener que estudiar reglas gramaticales. Haz esto Y recuerda, el camino del inglés es dedicación, esfuerzo y paciencia. ¡Empecemos! Ok. We are going to listen to a story. As you listen, don't worry about the grammar. Just relax and enjoy the story. If you need to, feel free to pause the story at any time if you need to translate any words. Just try to listen and understand the context of the story. Are you ready? Here we go. Love is in the air. Every summer, Penny travels to a family reunion barbecue. Penny is never excited, and this year is no different. She dreads the drive. She does not like talking to her relatives, and she does not like the smell of hamburgers. Penny is a vegetarian. When Penny arrives, she sees lots of familiar faces. It is July, and Uncle Vernon is wearing a sweater. Uncle Vernon is always cold. It's very mysterious. She sees her cousin Polly. Polly has six children. The youngest one screams. Then the oldest one screams. Polly's children are always screaming. She sees many of her other cousins in the field playing softball. They play a softball game every year, and it always ends in a big argument. Penny wonders again why they never solve it. Then Penny sees an incredibly handsome man. She stares at him. He catches her staring. He smiles and walks over to her. Penny is very nervous. She is nervous because a handsome man is walking up to her. And she is nervous 
because this handsome man might be her cousin. The man sticks out his hand and says, Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, I'm Penny, Penny says. Are we related? Paul laughs. No, we are not related. I am Vernon's nurse. He is sick and needs to keep me close by. But he did not want to miss this barbecue. Oh, thank goodness, Penny says, and then blushes. Penny always blushes when she is nervous, embarrassed, or hot, and right now she is all three. Handsome Paul laughs and says, Would you like to go get a hamburger with me? They smell delicious. Penny smiles. Sure, I love hamburgers. The End Now, we are going to ask a lot of questions about the story. We ask a lot of questions to help your brain get used to the grammar structure. Some of them may seem similar. That is good. You don't need to think about the grammar. Just relax and do your best to answer the questions. You can pause at any time to try and answer. If it is too fast, or you are with other people, or you don't want to say the answers out loud, it's okay to just listen. Here we go. Good luck! Every summer, Penny travels to a family reunion barbecue. Penny is never excited, and this year is no different. She dreads the drive. Where does Penny go every summer? She goes to a family reunion barbecue. When does Penny go? In the winter? No, Penny goes to the reunion in the summer. Who does Penny go to the reunion to see? Right, Penny will see her family. Does Penny's family drive to Penny's house for the reunion? No. Penny will drive to the family reunion. Is Penny excited to go to the reunion? No, no. Penny is never excited to go to the reunion. She dreads the drive. Does Penny like driving to the reunion? No. Penny dreads the drive. She does not like that long of drive. Will Penny enjoy going this year? No. This year is no different. Penny is not excited to go to the family reunion. Good job. She does not like talking to her relatives. And she does not like the smell of hamburgers. Penny is a vegetarian. Why is Penny not looking forward to the reunion? Because Penny does not like talking to her relatives and does not like the smell of hamburgers. Does Penny get along well with her family?
Maybe, but probably not. Penny does not like talking to her relatives. Are Penny's family vegetarians? No, Penny is a vegetarian, but her family likes to eat hamburgers. What will Penny's family eat at the reunion? Hamburgers. Penny's family eats hamburgers every year. Will Penny eat a hamburger? No, Penny will not eat a hamburger because she is a vegetarian, and hamburgers are made out of meat. Does Penny like the smell of hamburgers? No, Penny does not like the smell of cooking hamburgers. When Penny arrives, she sees lots of familiar faces. It is July, and Uncle Vernon is wearing a sweater. Uncle Vernon is always cold. It's very mysterious. Why does Penny see familiar faces at the reunion? Because they are her family, of course, and she goes to the reunion every year. Will Penny recognize a lot of people at the reunion? Yes, she will recognize her family. What month does Penny go to the reunion? December, right? No, it is July. It is a summer barbecue in July. Is July a time to wear sweaters? No, it is hot in July. July is in the summer. What is so strange about Uncle Vernon? Uncle Vernon is wearing a sweater. Is it normal to wear a sweater in July? No, it is mysterious that Uncle Vernon is always cold even in July. But Uncle Vernon is always hot, right? No, no. Uncle Vernon is always cold. Penny sees her cousin Polly. Polly has six children. The youngest one screams. Then the oldest one screams. Polly's children are always screaming. Who does Penny see in her family? She sees her cousin Polly, that's right. Polly is Penny's aunt, right? No, no. Polly is Penny's cousin. Who is Polly? Polly is Penny's cousin. Does Penny have a lot of children? Yes, Polly has six children. How many children does Polly have? Good. 
Polly has six children. Is it fun to be around Polly's children? No, because they are always screaming. Polly's children are always calm and quiet, right? <laughs> no, they are always screaming. Why does Polly's oldest child scream? The oldest child screams because the youngest child screams. She sees many of her cousins in the field playing softball. They play a softball game every year, and it always ends in a big argument. Penny wonders again why they never solve it. What game does Penny see many of her other cousins playing? Football, right? No. Softball. They are playing softball. Are her other cousins sitting around talking? No, they are playing softball. Is this the first time Penny's cousins have played softball? No, they play softball every year. What game do Penny's cousins play every year? Softball. They play softball. Does the game always end with everyone happy? No. Every year, the game ends in an argument. Why does Penny wonder why they never solve their problem? Because every year, the game ends in an argument. Then Penny sees an incredibly handsome man. She stares at him. He catches her staring. He smiles and walks over to her. Penny is very nervous. She is nervous because a handsome man is walking up to her, and she is nervous because this handsome man might be her cousin. Who else does Penny see at the reunion? Penny sees a handsome man. Is the man ugly? No, the man Penny sees is incredibly handsome. Why does Penny stare at the man? Because the man is very handsome, and Penny has never seen him before. What does the man do to Penny? Yell at her for staring, right? <laughs> no, no. The man walks over to Penny and smiles at her. Is the man frowning? No, that's right. The man is smiling. Is Penny nervous or calm about the man walking towards her? Nervous. Penny is very nervous because a handsome man is walking toward her 
who might be her cousin. Penny is calm about seeing the man, right? No, Penny is very nervous. Why would Penny think the man is her cousin? Because they are at a family reunion and all of her cousins are there. Does Penny think the man might be her cousin? Yes, Penny is afraid the handsome man might be her cousin. The man sticks out his hand and says, Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, I'm Penny, Penny says. Are we related? Paul laughs. No, we are not related. I am Vernon's nurse. He is sick and needs to keep me close by but he did not want to miss this barbecue. What is the man's name? The man's name is Paul. The man's name is Gary, right? <laughs> no, you got it. The man's name is Paul. Are Penny and the man related? No. The man is Penny's Uncle Vernon's nurse. Penny and Paul are cousins, right? No. The man and Penny are not related. Is the man a doctor? No. Paul is a nurse. Why did Paul come to the family reunion if he is not in the family? Because he is Vernon's nurse, and Vernon needs to have him close by. Does Vernon need a nurse close by? Yes. His health is not good, but he didn't want to miss the barbecue, so he brought his nurse, Paul. Did Vernon want to come to the barbecue? Yes, Vernon did not want to miss the family reunion. Oh, thank goodness, Penny says, and then blushes. Penny always blushes when she is nervous, embarrassed, or hot, and right now, she is all three. Why did Penny blush? Because she was embarrassed. She said she was glad she was not related to Paul. Was Penny glad she was not related to Paul? Yes, Penny is relieved Paul is not one of her cousins. Is Penny upset Paul is not her cousin? No, Penny is happy Paul is not her cousin. What always makes Penny blush? She always blushes when she is nervous, embarrassed, or hot. Penny is not nervous or embarrassed, right? No. Penny is very nervous and embarrassed. Why is Penny nervous and embarrassed?
because she is talking to a handsome man and admitted she is glad she is not related to him. Is Penny cold right now? No, Penny is hot. Penny is nervous, embarrassed, and hot. Penny is calm and cold right now, right? No, Penny is nervous and hot. Handsome Paul laughs and says, Would you like to go get a hamburger with me? They smell delicious. Penny smiles. Sure, I love hamburgers. Paul is ugly, right? No, Paul is very handsome. Is Paul mad at Penny? No, Paul is laughing and wants to get a hamburger with Penny. What does Paul want to do? Paul wants to go eat a hamburger with Penny. Is Paul a vegetarian? No, Paul thinks the burgers smell delicious. Paul does not want to eat a hamburger, right? No, Paul likes hamburgers. Does Penny tell Paul she is a vegetarian? No, Penny likes Paul and wants to spend time with him. She doesn't tell Paul she does not eat hamburgers. Does Penny eat a hamburger with Paul? Yes. Penny tells Paul she loves hamburgers. Okay, that is the end of the story and the questions. You did a great job. Listen to the story again and answer the questions a lot of times. And answer all the questions, and you will start to understand the grammar better. Listening to the same story and questions a lot of times in a row for many days will help you learn to speak English better every day.